We're delighted to be able to welcome here today Ambassador Hamamoto, former permanent representative of the United States to the United Nations here in Geneva and co-founder of the International Gender Champions Network, which has now gone global. Um, she is now a GCSP fellow here, and we are also delighted to welcome Ambassador Fu, permanent representative of Singapore to the United Nations here in Geneva as well. We're here today to find out your perspectives and your reasons for initiating the Women's Leadership Programme, which the GCSP ran last November and will be offering again this October. We'd like to know why you thought it was such an important initiative and what you think the ladies who participated gained from it. One of the fundamental uh, objectives of the initiative is to uh, support women in their careers, you know, whether they're early stage, middle stage, or uh, more advanced in their careers. Women at all levels uh, need to continue to be supported, to um, have more opportunities to speak on panels so that their, their voices can be heard. Um, there's, there's expertise uh, among the women in International Geneva and really around the world that is not being captured, not being capitalized on, not being valued. So we thought that this would be a great opportunity uh, within our community here. We wanted to make a concrete uh, contribution uh, to help these young women diplomats, uh, in particular from small delegations uh, from many developing countries who do not have the opportunities to experience uh, such professional leadership training uh, done by GCSP. And the whole idea is to equip them with very concrete uh, leadership skills, uh, mentoring skills, mm -hmm. uh, how do you build teams. And it is to give them the tools uh, to succeed, uh, especially the first time they are leading teams. Uh, the whole idea is that uh, we believe that uh, success breeds success. If we see young women do well as team leaders in leadership positions in whatever organizations that they are, whether in the UN, uh, in the foreign services, mm -hmm. or or even in civil society, uh, then this will help break down silos and barriers and spur you know, greater uh, gender empowerment uh, in the workplace uh, all over the world and in the UN system. So this is the whole idea of why we decided to do this particular program. And GCSP has been a very special partner for the both of us right. uh, because of the unique strengths. I would say that in terms of the curriculum and in terms of uh, your trainers, and it's not just about the curriculum, but it's the way uh, you conduct the leadership, being passionate about it, uh, being very attentive to the participants and tailoring it to their own uh, circumstances. I think that the way that it was structured by uh, GP GCSP and its team was really masterful. It gives them something concrete that probably will stay with them uh, for most of their careers, or this is the start of their leadership journey, uh, starting from a small team, hopefully to running big organizations or maybe even uh, leading countries at some point. Uh, so there must be always be a starting point, and mm -hmm. this course gives them very concrete skills which they can build upon, refine their own leadership styles and skills, and hopefully inspire others. Uh, to us, uh, having uh, you know, nominating them for this two-day full-time program is an investment. It's a sign of an investment into it, in their potential, taking them two weeks away from their work and meetings. And uh, we are grateful for that because uh, without the commitment of our partners, uh, you know, these young women wouldn't be able to benefit from this particular program and hopefully uh, do more important and good things to make this our better world. Right. And, uh, you know, one of the broader benefits is there's a sort of a multiplier effect because uh, obviously the 20 or 25 participants that you had 
um, were impacted greatly and um, will, you know, as we know, go, you know, sort of go on to do great things and, and this was a good foundation for them. But from, uh, you know, fr from this base, they're, they're talking to their colleagues and other people in the community here know about the program, what happened, um, and so it's having a much bigger effect on, uh, on male and female colleagues here at all levels of these organizations. So it was a great start. I'm, I'm actually thrilled that you're going to be able to offer this again um, this coming October.